Welcome back to Juice's Arthropods. My name is Juice, and this is another very short species spotlight. Today, starring the giant African millipede, or the Arca Spirostreptus gigas. That's, uh, that's a mouthful, guys. So let's discuss the uh, common names for these. Honestly, they just call them giant African millipedes, which is hilarious because that's a continent, guys. So whoever came up with that one was a genius. Uh, primary food source for them, they're detritivores, but they love organic veggies. I give mine butternut squash, um, pretty much anything, you name it. Just be careful on anything like spinach because they contain a lot of oxalates. So if you can feed it to a tortoise, you can probably feed it to these guys, but do not feel offended if they do not like your cooking. They will sometimes let it rot and eat it when it's nice and mushy. Now, country of origin, these, like I said, these guys are in Africa, which is a pretty big place, uh, but they're typically in the lowland Western Africa areas in more of the um, African rainforests. A lot of people, when they think of Africa, they think of the Serengeti. Um, the, there's a, it's a huge continent, guys. So with these guys in particular, they uh, typically will be found in the rainforest. This means very high humidity. Loads and loads of rotten vegetation and wood is needed for these because of their massive size, some of them getting as large as 13 inches. Um, and this also requires a very large container for them, but we'll do a special care guide for them in the future. Level of care required to keep these guys alive? Beginner. To breed them, intermediate, because uh, you need a lot of space, and these guys have a very particular way about breeding with them, but more in the care guide in the future. As far as additional notes, these guys are amazing creatures, quite active. They, like I said, get up to 13 inches long. You need to be very careful when you are looking for these because they are quite expensive. If someone is selling them cheaply, be very, very careful with that because it means they're probably not the correct millipede that you're looking for. So ensure that it's the gigas species specifically. Another thing about these is you wanna make sure, I mean, these are my favorite pet millipedes on the planet. But one of the things that they like to do when they are scared is curl up in a ball and then begin to secrete liquids. And all millipedes, regardless of what you may have heard, are poisonous in some capacity, whether it means they're excreting something on your skin or if you chew on them, they will kill you. So <laughs> with any millipede, just make sure that you are washing your hands after you hold them, not only for the poison, but also because all millipedes have beneficial mites on them. And you probably don't want those hanging on your skin either, even though they couldn't harm you. It might give you the creeps a little bit. This was our species spotlight for the giant African millipede, and we hope you have a good day.